If you were born from the mid to late 90s, then you, of course, had Ruthless Aggression. Ruthless Aggression has to be my favorite era of uh, WWE because you have such uh, moments, such wrestlers that you will never see again. Everyone's all attitude. I love the attitude era. That's just not my era. My era is and always will be the ruthless aggression. It's better than the PGG, whatever the hell that was, that we're still going through. I know we will never get the ruthless aggression back, but at least we, um, from what we have now with like Kevin Owens, Lacey Evans, um, Becky Lynch, they're doing, they're really, they're doing wonderful. They really are. And they seem like they would come from the ruthless aggression. But here we are. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, Shawn Michaels. Of course, Shawn Michaels came from, like, came more from different, Shawn Michaels has been around for forever. But Brock Lesnar, um... You know, we have uh, Hurricane Rosie, um, the Hardy, the Hardy Boys. Well, they, you know, like, well, the last few moments of the um, attitude, then ruthless. But still, you know, we had Jericho, we have uh, Cena, the Doctor of Thugonomics, which is my favorite, my favorite of Cena's. Uh, I really enjoy that. Uh, gimmick. We have, you know, um, Rey Mysterio, um, you know, Rey Mysterio and, uh, uh, Eddie Guerrero's storyline, which I think is one of my favorite storylines with the, um, you know, Dominic, um, people can say what they can say, but Benoit just, you know, his, some of the stuff he, 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 uh, did by winning the uh, title. I don't care what you say. I think he was one of the best, in my opinion. And of course, Triple H did come from, you know, the uh, attitude, of course. But some of his his best, uh, along with Shawn Michaels, some of his best stuff. And I like how you had these three because of the triple threat match, which I really loved. Um, Whoever designed this was really cool, because Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero, Brock Lesnar, um, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Chris Benoit, that, that's really, you know, clever, because of all these guys' uh, beef, yeah, I like that, I really like that, they should have had Brad Shaw at least in the middle, and then he could have been, he could have like, you know, had one blue, one red, in between, I would have liked that, but yeah, and then you have the changing of uh, Bradshaw to JBL. You had some of the best Summer Slams, uh, some of the best uh, Great American Bashes, the best Bat Bloods, the best Backlashes. You know, the, the list goes on. Um, you know, and I, I've just always loved, 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 loved. To just enjoy and just have fun and and see women in the friggin' girls, you know, women in the women's locker room um, with their towels on. But no, we have to go through this bullshit now with harassment. It's, it's just really, it's annoying and it just pisses me off. And just, I, I, I miss the ruthless aggression. I really, really do. You beat boundaries. You beat, you know. And I just really hope. What AEW is doing is kind of like, like they kind of have that kind of idea with it. So that's one thing. So thank you, Cody and Dustin. But um, other than that, uh, I don't think we'll ever see Ruthless Aggression. Ever.